I'm going to preface this um, electromagnetic device review with a um, just want to display this is an actual US patent that was done um, you could see right here August 18th 1992 patent number 5139684 uh, this was you know I see the name here Kaylee I know it's Dr. Kaylee and you know I can't I had another name I was reading Dr. Lyman but it has uh, Schwaltzky Peter Schwaltzky also so those are the inventors filed on November 16th 1990 and it looks like it was finally approved 1992 um, this actually is a patent with their experiment with um, well it seems to work it seems to work it definitely seems to work in a petri dish it was originally developed against the HIV virus um, and it was the research was done I think it was an Einstein hospital in New York City and well you can see right here what it says but it's you know originally it was for HIV but it's it's found that in a petri dish or at least the blood itself um, it works it works against a lot of viruses and bacteria and pathogens but I need to point out one thing that the body and a petri dish are two different things like you can run the experiment in a petri dish and it works you know um, but you know in a body things can hide in different places of the body so sometimes well there's people that believe it works okay I'm not gonna say it's not something worthwhile to look into and that's the whole reason for me putting this up here um actually I'm a person you know that thinks people could probably be like hundreds of years old and probably be effectively 25 years old in looks in every other way and you know actually if you could sell that <laughs> and you had a patent on that that's the problem. That, in a nutshell, is the problem. There is no patent on it. Actually, a lot of it is uh, a lot of tricks, a lot of work. A lot of people don't want to bother with it. Um, but if they could sell a secret pill for you know a million dollars that can make a person live to be 300 years old and stay 25 the whole time, um, they'd have sales. But there is nothing like that, as far as I know. But I can tell you, I think there's a lot more out there than people suspect by far, and it exists right now. All right, let me get on to what this patent says, and I'm going to get on to what the devices are. Basically, it uh, provides appropriate electrical field strength you know, of a certain type. It's a certain type of uh, electrical field to provide electrical current flow through the blood or other bodily fluids at a magnitude that is biologically compatible but is sufficient to render the bacteria, viruses, and or fungi ineffective to infect normal healthy cells while maintaining the biological usefulness of the blood or other bodily fluids. So in other words, it does not harm the blood, does not kill off the blood, it just causes the bacteria, viruses, and fungi um, to be ineffective to ineffective to infect normal healthy cells so then they just die off by themselves because they, they don't have a long lifespan the, the bacteria fungi and viruses don't have a long lifespan they have they depend upon the host you know the host healthy cells they have to infect other cells so um, I can tell you there's a lot on this subject it's very well hidden in my opinion it's extremely well hidden and um, you know actually in my opinion uh, one thing this a lot of this was uh, rediscovered by not he didn't work on it originally but it was rediscovered by Dr. Robert Beck PhD and I'll give another name out there Dr. Robert O. Becker MD if you want to look up that book the body electric also did a lot of stuff with microcurrents for uh, working with vision healing macular degeneration and I'll even state that um, I'll just say it's experimental but I know this is one big thing with women wrinkles skin sagging and all that stuff microcurrents but you know in my experience most people are plain lazy and um, <laughs> it's always the quick fix in a, in a snake oil sales pitch that seems to work the best but I do know I do have a um, belief that microelectricity could be used in so many instances that 
it wouldn't replace medicine. It definitely would not replace nutrition because the body needs nutrition. But it actually is a um, a help to the body in uh, ways of destroying pathogens, but also regenerating growth. So it has a lot of potential. And uh, let me get on with this site. This is actually a site from Mark Forrest, and I bought several of his products. And I just want to comment. I don't work for the guy. I don't sell his products. Um, I'm just going to say I bought several of his products, and I had 100% satisfaction with all the products he sold. So I don't know if I'm making a sales pitch here, but let me put it this way. One of my number one things is health. It is. It is definitely health. And I'm a strong believer in this stuff, and I think there's a lot of valid science behind it. Um, I actually have several of his devices. You know, <laughs> God, it almost sounds like I'm a salesman, but I'm not. I don't, you know, I'm not. I don't get any percentage off this or anything. Um, the microelectric device, you know, which is the Bob Beck current, the first one on here. This is probably one of the most important ones to get, in my opinion. You know. Um, and uh, you know there's a number of things you know he's got a good site here he actually puts up a lot of different things about diseases and problems that people have and in some cases these things have proved to be somewhat effective you know I know that the um, pharmaceutical industry hates this because the big problem is once you buy this thing um, it kind of like you know, let me let's let's make the assumption it works. Let's just assume it works for you know whatever. Well, say it worked. What would happen to pharmaceuticals? You don't have to produce the drugs. You got this device here. You, you know, what's going to happen to it? You change the batteries, or maybe you get rechargeable batteries, and you never buy a thing again. What happens to the pharmaceutical industry? You know, even if it just takes ten percent of their profit away. Say it did that. Let's make that assumption. I don't know what the heck, you know. I've got to, I kind of get aggravated because I have used these devices a number of times, and it, um, you know, I haven't experienced anything bad from them at all, for one. And I've read about this subject extensively from not just his site, various blogs, and I guess the medical community probably hates this. Maybe when it's taken over by the government, it's all going to be illegal to even say anything. But uh, so maybe I got to put it out here now. But he has a number of different things. It's not just the uh, the, the Beck current, the microbe electro electrifier, which is using that patented uh, current that was patented back in 1992. That is one of the most useful ones going. Um, seems to work. A lot of people believe in it. How's that? Let me put it to that way. I personally don't think it's snake oil. And to tell you the truth, I'd be the first one to point out this was snake oil. And I have no problem telling somebody I think they're full of it or whatever. I have no problem at all saying that. I think some people realized that before with a silver clown video I did. I really would tell anything I think in my mind. I will not hold back on anything. And I, my... I'm very skeptical of everything, to tell you the truth. I looked into this very deeply, and not just his products. Like I said, I bought a number of his products. I had actually no problem. You know, and he's he's down in Ecuador because of fear of persecution. Um, these help so many people. It's it's ridiculous. So many people said so many good things about this guy, but he got persecuted. In my opinion, he he actually they actually came and got him down in South America one time. Amazing, huh? Because people posted nice things about feedback they got on this site. That's sick. That See, that really pisses me off. And uh, that's something that really bothers me a great deal, to tell you the truth. But uh, the um, another thing on here is a diabetes electrifier. Now, the way this works, actually, it's off of some valid science. Um, and actually, I have the one that's a combination of a DC, um, excuse me, <laughs> I'm on the wrong thing here, the diabetes electrifier. I actually have the one that's both. It's the diabetes and the microcurrents, right, the Beck device. So it actually has both. And I would recommend if you buy a device, you probably buy one that's combined with something. 
um, in other words it's two devices in one because the cost is less than buying two separate devices but the way this works is when there's free radicals in a body at a cellular or at an atomic level let's put it this way at an atomic level a free radical which is actually one of the most damaging things in a body what happens is this free radical will collide around with other atoms and create more free radicals and what that means is there's one electron missing from the atom so it becomes very unstable and that's very damaging to other atoms in the body what this does is it adds the electron to the atom that's a free radical and thus stabilizing it so it's stabilizing it at an atomic level now there's some people uh, that swear that this is great for sports recovery and these pads will these two pads here will be put on each foot on the bottom they're like sticky pads or medical pads you could buy them replacement pads over at uh, you could buy them on his site his site here or you can just go to Amazon and buy them you know replacement pads or whatever and it what it does is that it, at an atomic level at a, the atom level it restores the missing uh, electron from free radicals. Now that's not just for like um, when a person has um, you know sports recovery when that's there's a lot of free radicals from like heavy exertion from what athletes might do but also from diabetic people too. So you know in a way this almost like works like when you're taking antioxidants to combat free radicals except you're doing it with an electrical car. I think it's a pretty neat concept to tell you the truth and I have this device okay so I'm gonna say I didn't have any problems with it I you know I can't say what I can't say it cures anything or anything but I don't know I've been researching this stuff for years I think there's a lot of valid science before behind it people want to look into it I think they should I think the medical community hates this stuff because basically it's in competition with something else that they have, a product that they have that's patented that and this is really you know, this is really out in the open source field. So, you know, they'll hate it. Um another product out there I think is uh, it's called uh D C voltage. Uh let me see where that is again on here. Yeah, D C electrifier micro microbe electrifier. Now the DC could have a number of that's this one here DC right DC electrifier it looks the same I mean it basically looks the same in China they did a number of experiments against cancerous tumors right in China not in the United States as far as I know probably never in a million years in the United States I mean maybe after the, if the whole economy implodes if somebody has any knowledge left, you know, that's why I'm putting it out here. Uh, maybe they'll, this might survive somehow, you know. But uh, what they did was they took this electrode on this side. And you can see there's like a, uh, a contact connected to a cloth electrode. Well, it's all cloth. and There's an electrode inside the cloth. It's wet. They wet the cloth so it conducts electricity which some, they put some tap water on it right tap water maybe light saline solution water and this positive side the red side goes to the side where the tumor is and the larger pad they put the negative to and it goes on the opposite side of the body now China they had some kind of success with this you know now I'm going to see there's another way you can use this this DC on here and uh, got it I don't know if I should even put this on here. This is about herpes, right? And um, not that I have this or anything, but I just want to point this out here that uh, this is something people would be afraid to look up or anything like that. And um, what they did was they used um, DC voltage to get rid of it. And I believe it's right on here, somebody's feedback. Um, <laughs> you know. And I hope this guy doesn't get attacked for me putting this up here because, uh, you know, he's already been attacked a couple times. It actually he doesn't make any, he just puts some people's feet. He got attacked actually because people put feedback on his website because um, <laughs> they 
gave good feedback about his products. They said, wow, this really worked. So he got attacked by the powers that be. How's that? Well, great, huh? That's kind of how it works. <laughs> anyway, but I want to be honest about this. I actually have several of his products. I have no problem with it. I've been researching this for a number of years, and I believe in it. Okay, so that's my message. But anyway, for this herpes virus, what they did was they took the DC. I'm trying to look for it on here, but where it said it. But you could actually probably read all this, you know. Um, where they just put the DC on a site where the outbreak was for a few minutes. And one, the other wire, the negative wire on the base of the spine. Well, it was actually not the wire itself. It was the... Um, the padded electro the electrode was had cloth wrapped around it and it had a little bit of saline solution so the electricity would go through into the skin you wouldn't use the bare wire to touch the skin because that would burn but it's a very low current and you can you you would use the DC side and it treated it for um, you know a few minutes and you know a few times during like in other words three minutes and then it would stop and it would do it for a few minutes and stop for, for like maybe a half hour and they said that you know it was minimized or eliminated I was like wow that's pretty amazing and there's people that have done this with six volt batteries still so I find this to be pretty crazy <laughs> it seems crazy but I've just read I mean it's not just here it's there's, there's various places and I don't think it's a rumor now you could find a person out there that has a million initials after their name with a vested interest in their pocket they will talk as nice as possible they'll throw the perfect voice on and this is another reason I can't stand professionals because they put an act on it's very much like a caring harmless you know, almost like, I'm the little guy, I'm trying to help. And they're so full of it. It's like, I, I almost avoid talking like that because it, it disgusts me. And, uh, but anyway, um, i like for some people to actually review some of this information in here. And there is a hell of a lot more to even microelectricity than this. There is actually stuff out there where, um, well, I guess it's a separate subject. I could probably get on that later on because this is probably too lengthy as it is. But um, look into the Beck current. I have used this guy's products before. I know he's down in Ecuador and I'm not selling for him. I don't get any kind of percentage or anything for saying this. I'm just saying I have personally bought about five different products from him. I bought the microelectricity unit. unit. I bought the um, combination well this is diabetes electrifier but he had one that was a combination diabetes and microelectricity um, unit I bought the Canada zapper that is against fungi okay I've used all these devices and I also bought the uh, DC electrifier and microbe electrifier with the rechargeable battery add-on to to it so I pretty much got most of the stuff he puts out because the Canada the zapper is fairly close to the uh, anti-parasite zapper. And I know some people might be looking at this and going, what the heck is all this stuff? But uh, believe me, I think there is a hell of a lot more to it than appears on the surface. This was the first time you're hearing this. Um, I'm going to show this patent again. It's not like it's snake oil because this patent was done in one of the most prestigious hospitals in the country, Einstein Hospital in New York City. Uh, that's where this was developed. These were high-end doctors. And they found that, you know, you know, according to this patent, it can render bacteria, viruses, and fungi ineffective, ineffective to infect normal healthy cells while still maintaining you know that the usefulness of the blood and other bodily fluids in other words it's not ruining it it's not destroying anything else in the process it's only causing the bacteria viruses and fungi to be ineffective to infect other cells in other words and then they just die off they just die off and that's what those devices that are sold are using 
this pattern. Now, in the case of this, the micro electric le microbe electrifier, that's using that pattern. Um, the diabetes electrifier, you might want to read more into that what that is, or um, get a combination unit. You know that might be a better thing. So um, I just would like to you know point this out, and I would highly, highly recommend it myself because. Uh, like I said, I've dealt with this. I know some people are afraid to order from Ecuador. And like as I stated ten times before, I have no affiliation with Mike Forrest, but you know, having uh, talked to him online and kind of seen what he you know, what he the kind of work he does, I think he's a major believer in what he does. I think he's an extremely caring person. I think he's hundred and ten percent honest. And you know me, if I think somebody is dishonest, um you know, I'll call him out, okay? So I'm um, being flat out honest about this. I think this guy is good to go. And um, this is one of the most, in my opinion, this is the most important way that can help people's health. This is my opinion. This stuff to me is beyond anything out there. I mean, it shouldn't be just only this, but it's probably the most important aspect of healthcare and um problem is it's it's too inexpensive